and I do recommend that you have a yoga block to help stabilize this inner core area, particularly through these standing poses. We're going to start with the block in between our inner thighs with our hands above our head. And we've done this in previous uh, classes, so this may be familiar to you. But we're going to start by grasping, I'm going to back so you can see, Gra grasping my left wrist with my right hand, reaching up, pushing my left hip to the side, right arm and left arm reaching to the side as I relax my neck and squeezing that block, the inner thighs, as I protect my lower back and go to the side. Breathe. On the inhale, stretch your arms. On the exhale, push those hips out a little bit further. On the inhale, coming back to center. Switch your grip. So the left hand is gripping the right wrist, reaching up, and the right hip is pushing to the right as the arms are going to the left. And the neck is relaxed. Try not to bend forward with the upper body. Rather, you're opening up the chest, right shoulders back. Inhale and go, exhale, go further into the pose. Inhale, coming forward. Inhale, arms above your head as you reach back. And back to center. One more time, keeping the same grip with the left hand on right wrist. You're pushing the right hip to the right as the arms go to the left. And coming back to center, change the grip. The right hand is gripping the left wrist. The left hip goes to the left as the arms go to the right. back to center. Pause. Lower the shoulders while you're reaching the arms up. Inhale. Stabilize the hips. Squeeze the block as you push the hips forward and you bend back. Relax the toes. And back to center. And release arms down. Block to the side. For this next balancing sequence, this is all core, a little bit of a psychological um, component of it as well. You're relaxing your toes as we come into a warrior three pose. You're lifting the right leg off the ground by lifting the hip, the right hip, and then moving the right leg back from the core as I move my arms out. Put all of your focus into your core, those muscles in the center of your body as you relax your left toes, even raise them from the mat a bit. And then coming forward, slowly bring your right knee to your chest and pause. And then going back, leading with the heel into warrior three. Arms stay at the side. And coming forward on the inhale. And exhale, going back. Right knee up. Time back, leading with the heel, and coming up, right leg in, and pause for five, four, three, two, one, and release. And lifting 
the left leg in from the hip. So your leg is straight, you're just lifting up from the hip, but it's slightly off the floor, about an inch. And you're going back, leading with the heel. Everything's relaxed. That left leg is going back, right toes are relaxed. And you're reaching back. And coming forward, using your core, bringing that right knee up and pause. And then lower, not touching the ground. And then going back. And coming forward. Your goal being not to have that left foot touch the ground at all. We're working towards that. And lower. Again, raise the foot off the ground as it goes back. Arms to the side for balance. Heel back. Coming forward. And one more. For five, four, three, two, one, and lower. And shake those legs out. And our next pose, you're going to place your hands on the mat. Your left leg is going to swing behind your right calf and then it's going to shoot up in the air. And we're going to do 10 each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. And let's stretch that IT band a little bit. It should be on fire by now. Hopefully not, for real. Um, so knee to the side here. And you can sit down or just kind of stay in a squat and even Put your hands in prayer position as you're just opening that hip. So basically, I was in this last pose here with my knee to the side, and I just stayed there. And then I'm just pushing that knee out. And if you want to go into an arm balance here, just for fun, go for it. And come back to center here, and we'll do the right side. Right leg up. Sorry, left. And so we're here, and we'll do the left side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And bring your left leg like we're going to do another round there and just leaving it in that position and then we can just do another twist here and just stretching out that IT band and if you want to do an arm balance you're in a perfect position for it and that's all core as well maybe a little bit of arm strength 
and then grabbing your block, we are going to do some variations on camel. Placing your arms across your chest and squeezing the block, protecting your lower back, tucking your pelvis. We're just going to lower back just a few inches. And that is personal preference, how far you want to go. You just need to be able to get back up again. And we'll do 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze the block as you come up and as you go down. Six, seven, eight, and push the ground with the tops of your feet as well. Nine, and 10. And release the block. And standing back up, we'll just do some squats for the right knee to the left elbow, left elbow to right knee. And when you're squatting, make sure that your rear, you're in a sitting position so your knees are not extending over your toes. And it's a spinal twist as well, we're working on the obliques. If you can even get to the outer edge of your knee with your elbow, even better. And a little variation on this, we're going to kick to the side, side kick, this is a kickboxing move, side kick, right arm down as the left leg goes out. And your hip is almost rotating, so your heel is coming up as you're kicking. You're squatting in the center, and then you're kicking. And as you're kicking, you can exhale.
And back to the pose that we started with today. That's what we'll conclude today's class with. Again, block between your legs. Hands up, grasping the right wrist with your left hand. Squeezing the block, hips to the right, and bending to the left. Maybe take it a little bit deeper than we did when we started. And inhale back to center. Switch the grip. Right wrist, or right hand on left wrist, and to the right. Pushing the left hip out. 